Psalms chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Next, double honors to the head of apostles, slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To so all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. For God's so people here for a bit. Just another quick lesson on trusting in the Lord. Another quick lesson on trusting in the Lord, no matter what. No matter what, keep trusting in your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Forget what everybody else is saying. You know, they want you to trust in this. They want you to trust in that. No. Put your confidence, your faith in your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Quick little lesson, man. Lord willing, the elect is edified. We're going to bring out some scriptures, Lord willing. Psalm chapter 118. Look, it's coming straight out of the Bible. You can't, look, look, even in the world, you can't trust everybody. How much more in this truth, man? Trust is earned. You don't just trust somebody. Trust is earned, man. Son, that's what I'm going to call this lesson. Trust is earned. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has proven over and over and over and over and over and over. How many times do I have to say over and over again that, that he can be trusted, that they can be trusted? Not your enemy. Your enemy proved over and over and over a million different overtimes again that he can't be trusted. But here you go. The simple believe in every word. But a prudent man looking where to his going. Right? Psalm 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai than to put confidence in man. Oh, only thing, only thing man doing is lying to you. And read between the lines, Israel. You know, this, this, um, this, um, parable talk. You know, this is me speaking in codes according to the Bible. The Lord is giving you specific things and a specific person to trust in. Him. Him. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with all thine heart, all your mind. And lean not into thy own understanding. Remember the scripture say, He that trusted in his own heart is a fool. Look, look, trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, with all thine heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. Because, you know, every time you start leaning into your own understanding, look, look, you, you end up in trouble, don't you? Every time, every time Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Hebrew Israelites, lean into their own understanding, what happens? What, what, what happens? Just leave it in the comment board. What happens? You end up falling flat on your ass, right? So rock. Chapter 12. And when we just read, trust in the Lord, right? So rock. Chapter 12. Verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Now we just read, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Use all your mind. Put it towards um, having faith in your how about Shem Yahweh But then on the back end of the deal, because you got two sides to every coin, right? On one side of the coin, which is the head, trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But then on the other side of the coin, which is the back, it tells you this. So rock, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Never. What part of never don't you understand? The word never means not at all. Not at any time. Never trust thine enemy. But you can always trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You can always put your confidence in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. What part of this aren't you understanding? We're going to jump down. 13. Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Now, once again, we all know this snake's bite. Who's going to pity you if you go playing with a whole bunch of snakes? You know, in the woods. Deadly venomous snakes, you out there playing with them. So here, baby, 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 here, baby, baby, baby. Then they say, no, the snake bites you. Then what? Are you laying there looking stupid? Gasping for air. Breathing, you're in the phone, just chimed in. Breathing your last breath, looking crazy in the face. Who's going to feel bad for you? You jump into a snake pit. 
and he, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna come out without any problems. What? Who would pity a serpent? Who would pity a charmer that has been with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Jumping down, 16. So Rock chapter 12, verse 16. An enemy. Remember, you Israel, you gotta learn who your enemy is. You gotta find out who your enemy is. Because the Lord said, Don't trust in him. No matter what. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Your enemy tell you that it's gonna be all good. He know it ain't. He know it ain't. He know he got ill intentions. He know he's here to do you harm. But oh yeah, I'm gonna speak smooth words to him. And the simple gonna believe every word. Go right back to Proverbs. The simple believeth every word, but a prudent man look as well to his going. We behind enemy lines. You, you don't know that by now? You haven't woke up to, to the fact and, and the realization of that? You, you don't realize that you're behind enemy lines? What? You really is. Your brain really is seared with an iron, man. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, meaning in his mind. He imagined if how to throw thee into a pit. Your enemy is always thinking about trapping you up. But you have about Shemel Shah. It's here to get you out of that trap. It's here to pull you out of that water, right? He imagined if how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes. But if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity, meaning you start catching a whole lot of hell. If adversity come upon thee, thou shall find him there first. Look, look. And that, look, look, and though he pretend to have thee, look, look, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he ain't got to pretend. The Lord has always helped us, man. He's our help. He's our shield. Remember that? He's our buckler. He's our shield. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Psalm 18. I'm going to get that. Bear, bear with me. Let me, just, let me just hold it on deck. Let me just find it right quick so I won't even lose it. Say the enemy speaking sweetly with his lips, man. Say the, say the enemy pretends to help you, Israel. You, you can't see that. But if our gods will be here, it is here to them that are lost, all right? You know, let, let, let's read that. I want to read that again. So, Rock chapter 12, down at the bottom of um, 17. If adversity, I'm going to read 17 again. If adversity come upon thee, Thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to have thee, your enemy, look, find out who your enemy is. Sleazy E and these other nations are your enemy. I just come out there, I just come out the bag and just say it. Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, and these other nations are your enemies, man. And they pretended to help thee. He shall undermine thee. And look, look, your enemy is gonna undermine you, man. But not Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's get this. Psalms 18. 1. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Remember the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. I will call upon the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Now, in order for you to get saved from your enemies, you got to trust in Yahweh by Shem You can't, You can't get saved from your enemies if you're trusting in your enemies. This is sleazy E. The scriptures tell you what. How you going to make something crooked? How you going to make something straight that was created to be crooked? I mean, make sense of the whole matter, Israel. Make sense of the whole matter. I will call upon the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies, man. No, no, I want to get another one in Psalms. Israel, you, you, um, you're being led straight to the slaughter. Your community leaders, these false prophets, these church pastors are leading you right to the slaughter. Right to the slaughter, man. And look, and you can't even see it. You can't even see it. Psalm chapter 140, verse 1. Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because that's who we trust in, right? We don't lean into our own understanding, right? Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This King David. And it's the same mind state we got to have. 
Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, from the evil man. You're trusting in an evil man that has no regard to life itself, man. It says, he that is evil to himself. The scripture tell you in the book of Sirach, he that is evil to himself. To whom will he be good, man? This man evil to himself. This man hates himself, man. But you, you don't see that, though, right? You don't see that, right? That's your best friend, right? The serpent, that snake, has become your best friend, right? Okay. From the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. That's why we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're not leaning into our own understanding. We trust in the Lord, man. We having faith in the Lord. And, and it's a and look, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for keeping your spirit on us to do so, man. So rock two. 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. And we're being afflicted right about now, so we need saving, we need help, man. And our help is in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's the first scripture I read. That's Psalm 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord to put, than to put confidence in man. But Israel's not going to take heed. Look, these, once again, these lessons that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Psalm chapter 115, verse 9, O Israel, a people before us to place, O Israel, trust thou in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Trust thou in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He is their help and their shield. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to realize that, man, before it's too late. All right? Because for the majority of our people, it's going, there's a such thing called too late. And, look, and you're going to say hey to him soon come. You know, Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. This is what surrounds us. Trouble, man. And he know of them that trust in him, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai knows who trust in him. Psalms 34, 22, the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. All right? One, another one, Psalm, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31, as for Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, his way is perfect, not your enemy. All right? Your enemy ways got holes all in it, got flaws all in it. But it says, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him, man. And the scriptures tell us, in thy word do we trust. In thy word do we trust, man. And look, and look, and the phone chimed in, man. You see? So just a quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Who will ye trust, Israel? Who will ye trust? Shalom.